This video represents data collected, processed, and modeled by the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, St. Louis District Engineering Division, in cooperation with technical staff from our geospatial branch, and technical staff from a hydraulics branch at the Applied River Engineering Center. What you're about to see is a three-dimensional fly-through video of the bathymetry, otherwise known as a hydrographic survey, river bottom survey of the Mississippi River. This stretch is known as the St. Louis Harbor. The various shades of color represent various bottom depths. These depths are all related to what we term the low water reference plane. The low water reference plane is an established water plane representing the river at below average stages, by which the Corps maintains a minimum 9 foot depth of channel for navigation. For the colors, starting from deepest to shallowest, white represents any depth greater than 30 feet at low water. Dark blue is 30 feet to 20 feet depth at low water. Light blue is 20 feet to 10 feet depth at low water. Brown is 10 feet to 0 feet depth at low water and green is 0 to 10 feet above low water. As we look upstream, you see that the deepest part of the channel, called the Thalwag, is located primarily along the left descending bank or the Illinois shore. The alternating patterns of white, darker blue, and light blue define actual sediment dunes or waves found along the bottom of the river. Our fly-through begins at the MacArthur Bridge at River Mile 179. As we fly adjacent to the arch, you can see that the bottom is shallower on the Missouri side as compared to the Illinois side of the Mississippi River. In actuality, the river is a very long bend in front of St. Louis. This bend causes most of the channel to develop deeper along the Illinois bank. Just above the Martin Luther King Bridge, you can see a small stretch where the channel is actually deeper along the Missouri shore. This is due to maintenance dredging. Dredging is a mechanical excavation method by which a hydraulic dredge temporarily removes sediment in the channel to make it deeper for navigation. Upstream of the dredging zone, the channel falls quickly back along the Illinois shore because of the natural river processes. You can see Dyke 181.7 located off the Illinois bank. This dike is typical of most dikes in the river that are designed to create added bottom depth in the navigation channel. The horseshoe shaped structure along the Missouri shore is called a chevron. These rock dikes are designed to create depth in the middle main navigation channel. There are three of these chevrons in the St. Louis Harbor. They form a smaller and shallower side channel located along the Missouri shore. You will also notice immediately downstream of each chevron a white area which describes a scour hole, followed by a shallower sandbar area defined by light blue. This is all the result of the unique design features of the chevron. The very long L dike at mile 184 is designed also to deepen the navigation channel and control sediment coming down from the Missouri River. Most of the sediment that passes the arch is from the Missouri River. The narrow channel on the bottom of the screen is the canal entrance to Lock 27. The wider, larger channel at the top of the screen is called the Mosatine Chain of Rocks channel. In this channel, there is a lot of isolated sharp rock making it extremely treacherous for toes. This is the reason this stretch is no longer used for navigation and instead, traffic uses the Lock 27 bypass canal. We will now make a downstream pass so you can examine the bathymetry of the river looking in a different direction. The bathymetric data was collected using the Resan 8125 high-resolution multi-beam. 
For information about any of the video, please contact the Applied River Engineering Center at 314-865-6326.